Bill Myers, there are those who would like to see Larry Holmes fight the winner of Foreman and Cooney. I think Larry would love to fight either one of them. I think his fights are, are Michael Spinks, but I think if the money's right, Larry will fight either one of them. I think you're going to see tonight that he's not that old fellow everybody thinks he is. He can fight. All right, we will find out momentarily. Let's go up and get the introduction of the fighters from Jack O'Brien. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our feature exhibition bout of the evening in the heavyweight division, and it is scheduled for four rounds. Introducing in the blue corner, wearing black trunks from Ormond Beach, Florida, a won and lost record of 36, 8 and 2, weighing in at 193 and three quarter pounds, a Jacksonville, Florida welcome for Tim Doc Anderson. <laughs> Anderson. His opponent in the red corner held the heavyweight championship belt for seven years. Known from coast to coast as the Eastern Assassin. A professional one-loss record of 51 and 3. Ladies and gentlemen, the former heavyweight champion of the world, Larry Holmes! Larry Holmes will enter the ring for the first time since fighting Mike Tyson back in March of 1988. And Phil Myers, Larry Holmes has done such a great job here in promoting boxing in Jacksonville. He's been here at virtually every event the big time boxing has put on this year. Uh, Friday, I was with Larry in Easton last Friday for his birthday. We had a tremendous birthday party in Easton. The next day, we got on Larry's private bus and went to Atlantic City to watch the Holyfield uh, Alex Stewart fight. As I watched Larry spar Friday with a young man, he still has it. Don't think this man cannot throw a jab. That is probably the best jab in boxing. Well, he says he's in very good shape. Now, he's not in the shape he would be, obviously, if he was going to take on a Spinks or even a Foreman or a Cooney. Uh, and this one pretty much to help promote boxing here in Jacksonville. But still, nostalgia takes a place here. And when you figure that this guy fought 54 times as a pro, his only losses were twice to Michael Spinks and once to Mike Tyson. That's an incredible record. And folks here in Jacksonville love Larry Holmes. Come on this one. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, Larry has won the hearts of so many people in this town. I've been with Larry to so many functions and so forth for children and say no to drugs. Larry has a day in eastern Pennsylvania just for the children for say no to drugs. This man has done more, not just in boxing, but in the world of sports. And that's what makes him a champion in and out of the ring, Dave. It's not just so much what a fighter does in the ring, but what he does in and out of the ring. Well, as I say, you know, the winner of Cooney and Foreman is on the horizon if that can be put together. But, you know, money at this point is not a motivating factor for Larry Holmes, although I'm sure he'd like another shot at Michael Spinks. He goes over and cracks the joke to Doc Anderson. And I'm sure it's a lot of fun for him to get back into the ring here, even this being an exhibition. We're so honored here to have Larry to be able to do this. Larry, I, I think anyone else in this world could ask Larry to do this, and I think I would have known the words that would come out of his mouth. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm very excited to have him here in Jacksonville, and I think this is a first for Sunshine Network. I think it's a big plus for the networks and all the people here in Jacksonville as well. Well, we'll see. We'll get the Vaseline on the gloves here, and the precautions certainly will be taken before this fight will get underway. There won't be any knockdowns in this one, I'm sure. Tim Doc Anderson, uh, tough journeyman heavyweight in his own right. He's fought some pretty tough opponents during his tenure. He's one who has beaten Jimmy Young several years ago. 36-8-2 out of Ormond Beach, Florida. Not the guy who has tr tremendous punching power, but uh, you're not looking for that particularly in this fight. Victor Perez is the third man in the ring. Larry Holmes enters the ring for the first time in a year and a half. And this should be a lot of fun. Let's see if that jab is still there, as you say, Phil. Tim Doc Anderson fought George Foreman in one of George Foreman's comeback fights, and uh, Tim was cut severely over the eye in the fourth round. So this one's scheduled for four. And as you might imagine, things starting off a little bit slow. There, he's still got the game face that he's had in the ring for so many years. That hasn't changed, certainly. I think Larry wants to pretty much let him do what he wants to do in this uh, exhibition here, uh, Dave, and uh, and then do what he can do. Yep. And I think we're going to see something as this progresses on. The people are so fired up from seeing the wars we've had uh, in, the, in some of our previous fights over the 
eight fights we've had in Jacksonville. This slows the tempo down quite a bit, though. Well, it's our pleasure to bring on a contender in his own right, Frisco Areola out of Tampa, Florida, who was going to be on this card tonight, but got hurt and wasn't able to make it. Frisco, great to have you with us again. Great to have you back. It's a lot of fun to see this guy up in the ring, Larry Holmes, once again, though. Oh, yeah, it's great. I, you know, this time I get to criticize him like he criticized me on my fight. <laughs> <laughs> sort of about fair play. I do it under my breath still, though, Frisco. You're oh, yeah, definitely. Just a little bit smaller than he is. <laughs> I'm going to do it with a lot of respect. <laughs> yeah. After having your leg operated on me, I don't think the movement's quite... Let's wait till we get in great shape and then tell him. <laughs> yeah. Really disappointed Frisco couldn't make that NABF title fight on this card. Uh, I believe the, and when we say this, our seven-card fight was built around Frisco for this fight. Uh, it's a shame. He's an athlete, and these things happen to athletes. Well, it will uh, have its chance to correct itself, I'm sure, and hopefully early next year you'll get that shot, Frisco. Well, yeah, that's what we're hoping for sometime, maybe January or February, if uh, the, the, uh, what talks with uh, Choice Camp, and uh, maybe arranging it sometime within that period. I've talked to Sam Macias in the NABF and also Dave Guam, who owns, uh, who's the manager of uh, Troy Dorsey, and uh, we're still on for the fight. All right. It's just a matter of when Frisco's legs get ready for it. Well, we'll look forward to seeing that one. It's certainly a well-deserved shot. Thank you. Well, meanwhile, a lot of pawing going up in, the, in this one, as you might imagine, at least here in the first round. Doc Anderson showing a little more activity than maybe the ex-champ is at this point. I think you go, I think you're right, Bill. I think things will heat up a little bit here as we progress. Uh-huh. I think Larry knows when he hits him with these shots, and Tim knows it as well, too, that Larry is, you know, so, so much bigger than Tim. Tim is actually a cruiserweight at this point. He's about 192 or 3, I believe. And Larry, Larry, I think he weighed in today around 245. Nice, quick jab. And so Larry Holmes still throws that jab. I think it's a couple of land there. Oh, he could have slipped him the right hand there. He's being very nice to Tim Doc Anderson. <laughs> yeah, he really is. Okay, and round one is history. Well, I introduced Frisco Areola to you, along with Phil Myers and Dave Reed. Frisco, again, delighted to have you with us here on Big Time Boxing. We've had you before, and, of course, uh, you and brother uh, Tony have uh, formed quite a tandem coming out of... Uh, the city of Tampa, and again, we look forward to seeing you get that shot at the NABF title. How is the leg? The leg is feeling very well. I'm still in therapy. Uh, I have about 70%. I, it's, uh, I've, I've recovered about 75% 70, 70 of my strength. I have, uh, I have to be 80% before my doctor lets me get back into the gym. So he says within two weeks, I should be back in full force in the gym. And I look really look forward to it. I really miss the gym. You know, it's, it's, it's very hard for me. And... This thing's happening, I, I would have told you six months ago this would have never happened to me, but I'm an athlete like everybody else and I'm human and things like this do happen. Indeed they do, and you're young enough to be able to recover from it quickly. If it happens to this guy, it might take a little bit longer. We <laughs> <laughs> won't tell him that. Yeah, I don't think I want to. That's why I'm down here. <laughs> Larry's been so gracious to be with us on some of these broadcasts here on Big Time Boxing, and we very much appreciate all of his input. Very nice guy and a lot of fun to be around. Larry Holmes looks like he's really having a good time in there. Yes. They call him the Eastern Assassin. We want to rename him the Jacksonville Assassin. <laughs> <laughs> well, River has it. He's looking at, at buying a home down here in his own right. We were looking at property the uh, day before yesterday, all day. So uh, that's, that's a definite. Larry just bought him a new boat. He's very proud of. <laughs> a matter of fact, I bought him a great ride and reel for his birthday. He was real, real pleased with it. I bought him a hat. It also says... I'm going, fi oh, I'd rather be fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'd rather be there than doing this. Although he's having a good time up here. Oh, that million dollar jab. Yeah, he still, uh, still throws it. He's still got the good form. He'll never lose that. No. Natural instinct. He keeps his hands high. And... He's got that beautiful jab I admire so much. Stinging. You can tell it hurts when he hits him. Oh. And he's playing around a little bit with it right now. I'm sure the old form comes back. Larry's been sparring fairly regularly. He keeps in pretty good shape. He's, he's intimidating Tim by showing him the right hand and hitting him with the left hand. I think Tim's a little offbeat with, uh, when Larry throws a jab in his face. Well, right before the Tyson fight, he was here. Of course, Larry Holmes. And 
I had the opportunity to have lunch with him and asked him, you know, how long would it take you to get ready for Tyson? He said about 10 weeks, and son of a gun, 10 weeks he was ready. I think that was the hard part for people in Jacksonville to realize he was here with us and told us he was going to fight Tyson here in Jacksonville, the first place ever. And then the next day in the papers it comes out, he's fighting Mike Tyson. Yep. I, I was very pleased to be able to announce that in Jacksonville as well. Oh, I think, uh, you know, we've talked to Larry about it before. No question that if the money's right and the situation's right, he'd like another shot at Michael Spinks. Of course, both of those fights went Spinks' way, but I think there's not anybody in, in boxing that saw those fights that would tell you it could have just as easily gone Larry Holmes' way. The second fight, Larry definitely won the fight with hands down. I think Michael in the first fight, that you, you could have won either way, but no doubt about it, Larry tore him up the second fight, had Spinks down. <laughs> <laughs> Larry talking to the crowd. He said, I'm not hurt. <laughs> Victor Perez, this is probably the easiest fight he's ever had. The third man in the ring. Now Larry. <laughs> I think Tim's trying to pick the pace up again. It looks like Larry wants to let him know who still the boss is. No doubt about it. No. So we come to the end of round two. We'll be back with more big time boxing from Jacksonville right after this. And John with the fans here, they asked if it was over. And Larry said, no, I'm ready to go about nine more. We're going to pick up a couple of guys from the crowd. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> You can see, there's oh, that jab. Oh. And Doc Anderson, I think rather glad that Larry's taking it a little easy. And uh, to his credit, too, Doc Anderson's not trying to put any mountainous punches on the ex-champ either. He's throwing combinations, though, and that's yeah. keeping Larry. Larry's, uh, Larry's very relaxed. Uh, and like we say, this is just what we built to be an exhibition. Exactly. Uh, but he's still got that poker face. He, that's what I call him, the poker face. You look at him, he throws a punch. <laughs> they were bad tension. Yep. That has not changed. Not one bit. I think this is, this is, uh, this is great for Larry Holmes to be back in the, with, the, with, the, with the public. You know, get, get that feeling back. Well, I think, uh, you know, all fighters, after they, particularly if you had the success that Larry Holmes has had, you know, you miss the the glamour of the ring. You miss the, certainly the accolades. I mean, it's a tough thing to say, I'm just going to leave it. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. Uh, but Larry, unlike many fighters, uh, has done it the right way. He's done it tactfully. He's invested his money wisely. Uh, he's managed his life very well. And he can come back and do things like this and just have fun doing it and not have to do it. And that's, that's the great thing about Larry Holmes. The strength behind Larry, in my feelings, is his family. Larry has a very strong family relationship. He's got some beautiful children and a beautiful wife. He's a super fellow. And Anderson throws the right. Larry Holmes got a couple of combinations in there. A few light taps. Right above us. And you wonder, Frisco, if uh, you know, you're a fighter, if you, if you take six, eight weeks off, as you're doing right now, how long does it take you to get that sharpness back? It'll take, yeah, it'll take a while because yeah, I have been active and I, I know how Larry feels. And uh, I'll be feeling down a couple of weeks. It's, it's, it's a very aggravating feeling because you're not you're used to being doing whatever you want to do. And when you're coming back, something like this, it's, it's, it's hard because your movement is not there, your mind is not working with your body. Well, Larry with those jabs, just pop, pop, pop. He could hit Tim with a right hand at any time. I think he's being real nice to Tim. Sure. Oh, he drop shows him he can hit him with the right hand just real quick. And into round three. Well, the Jacksonville faithful enjoying seeing the ex-champ in the ring. And you go back to the career he's had. And, you know, Larry Holmes fought at a time that was post-Ali and post-Foreman and post some of the large names that seemed to dominate the heavyweight division back then. And when Larry came along, he beat everybody in sight. Uh, that uh, never really got the recognition that probably he deserved. This is one of the great heavyweights to ever go into the ring. And you can see here that uh, pretty much it will. Larry Holmes get that jab in. 
And you still see that form of that good jab, stinging jab. Yeah. So it's got to be a thrill. you got to think uh, Tim Doc Anderson's thrilled to be here, too, to take on the ex-champ in a ring, exhibition or no. Larry has a new tape out called Champions Forever with Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, and Kenny Norton. Now, I think if most people watch television, they were on the Phil Donahue show and uh, uh, the Today Show. They were promoting the tape, and uh, out of all of them, Larry shows a lot of class. Well, he's shown that throughout his career. Joe Frazier made a statement to the point that, hey, we never told about all the bad things we did, right? And Larry said, I didn't have any bad things to talk about, Joe. He said, I was a great kid, and he was. Never in trouble in his life. You saw Doc Anderson in there throwing four or five punches that uh, had the intention of landing, and Larry slipped them pretty easily. It might be a mistake for Tim to be throwing something without authority on it. And he's talking to him now. No, I don't think... Uh, I don't Larry... Think has he hit Larry in the face at all tonight? Uh, I hope not. No. <laughs> yeah, I think he wants to make him mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Larry's defense is excellent. This is one thing that's taken Larry so far along in his career. If you notice, he throws his hands up straight up in front of his face every time. I'll... And those are some big arms, Dave. They're about the size of our thighs. <laughs> yep, they are. <laughs> they certainly are. Oh, boy. Martin. Oh, boy. I tell you, for uh, Larry being out for so for that time, for that period, he's, he looks good. He really looks good. It really does. Certainly not in the shape that he would be if he was going to fight for the big money. But uh, you're right, Frisco. He really hasn't lost yeah. that defensive style, and certainly the jab is still there. Dave, mm -hmm. I ran with him <laughs> when rode the bicycle Friday. He ran four and a half miles. Did he really? I was wondering what was keeping him up after he went four rounds sparring. <laughs> I'm going, then he went six rounds on the heavy bag. And now he's having a little fun with Doc Anderson. He's in much better shape than what uh, most people think he is. Four and a half miles, huh? At four and a half miles. Come in, listen, we had to... <laughs> 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 class act, class man. Yeah. He wanted to throw right hands, and he's telling him he wanted to throw them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell you, once you're a fighter... It's hard to lose that, uh, that stamina. You lose uh, a little bit of it, but you always keep that. Uh, Doc Anderson taking some off of these. And <laughs> you can hear Larry in there groaning. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> that might have been a mistake for Tim Doc Anderson to throw those kind of attention to Big Larry. <laughs> Class that guy. Larry went to throw everything he's got at him. He's and Doc had us to go to the body kind of adroitly. Oh, There's that jab. Oh, I think there's a payback. At will. <laughs> At will. Yeah, no question about it. It makes you stop and think if Tim Anderson's a class fighter and the world class that he is, it's this easy for this man at 40 years old to do what he's doing. Yeah, for what, questions. What, what a great, what a great fighter. I think there's some uh, interest in what would happen between a Holmes and a Foreman or a Holmes oh. and a Cooney at this point. Foreman, Foreman would be a great fight for him. Time will tell. This one's over. And the fans here love it. We'll be back in a moment. Larry Holmes uh, in the ring. And was it fun, big guy? Let me ask that first. Oh, yeah. It was, it was a lot of fun. You know, I wanted to do that for the people in Jacksonville, the people that haven't seen me live. At least they can see exhibition live. So I've done it here and, uh, you know, had a little fun doing it. Phil Myers was telling us that you've been sparring four rounds a day and running four and a half miles as well. Is this a normal regimen for you? No, this is really a crash program for me because, you know, being down here every other week for Phil and the show really haven't had time to really train. But since I told him that I would do the exhibition for him, uh, you know, I had to really put in a crash program. So I had to start doing something just to get a little stamina. With my professional experience, it really wasn't a hard work. It really didn't take a lot for me to get ready for, knowing that Tim Anderson, a, a decent fighter, don't, you know, don't have the power that George Foreman and Mike Tyson has. So I really didn't have too much to worry about. The jab was certainly there, and we were uh, making comment that uh, you could. It seemed like you could land land that one just about any time you wanted to. Well, you know, that's something that haven't left me. You know, even though I'm 40 years old, uh, I still can use that jab and know how to use it. And uh, that's what I call an educated jab. And I, I don't think I would lose that. Uh, in the Tyson situation, unfortunately, they, they called me after a two-year layoff and uh, only gave me two and a half months to get ready. Unfairly, I took the fight, you know, for the dollars and cents. I think I cheated the public a little bit because I wasn't 100% when I went into that fight. But again, you know, you don't get opportunities like that. I just felt that 
I didn't only cheat the public, but I cheated myself because I didn't perform up to the, my part. All right, one last question. Those who would like to see you fight either the Foreman or Cooney winner, what would it take to get you to do that? Well, it would take a couple of trucks full of money, for one thing, you know. <laughs> I don't need to fight anymore. I have a lot of money, and, uh, you know, I'm doing real good in the real estate business, and uh, I own a couple of office buildings and whatnot. I got about $17 million in profit, pro properties that are paid for, so, you know, I'm doing real well. I'm here to help Phil Myers promote some shows, and if he can get something together like we've been working on, trying to get a Michael Spinks or George Warmer or Jerry Cooney, and if the dollars are right, we'll step back in the rink. But if not, I stay home. I keep coming down here to Jacksonville, a city that I like, and keep trying to help Phil put on some good shows like he's doing. All right, Larry, we appreciate you coming down here and uh, promoting boxing in Jacksonville. Congratulations on a Thank great you. show, and we look forward to seeing more of you. I love everybody here in Jacksonville. Y'all are the real knockout. <laughs> All right, Larry. Our main event coming up next, Alfonso Walker, Pepe Rivera. Welcome.